Hi, I'm Bill Holleran from Holleran Vineyard Wines, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how we grow great wine for you. It's our passion, uh, and it all starts in the vineyard. Uh, all the vineyards are unique, and we get very excited every year thinking about what we can do in each site. It's a very creative process. Our whole winemaking team is involved, everyone has input, and we really look to what are the factors that are going to make us able to grow great wines for you in a given year. Uh, if we don't bring tremendous grapes out of the vineyard, there's no magic potion in the winery. So it's really where our focus is, it's where our passion is, is understanding how, what we can do differently, how we can learn from past years and continue to grow better and better wines every year. We're at the end of February, the very beginning of the growing season, so pruning has just completed and the vines are reduced down to a trunk and two fruiting canes. Uh, the approach that we use for growing our grapes is called vertical shoot positioning. It's the highest quality approach, but also the most labor intensive. And the vine, all the growth from last year has been eliminated and just left the two fruiting canes. And it's now prepared for another growing season. People often ask uh, what it's like to uh, be part of a small winery. Um, we currently make about 5,000 cases a year, and this is our 14th year, so we're, we're certainly small. Uh, and really it's all about being able to pay attention to detail, detail in the vineyards, detail in the winery. And what we really are striving to create for you is a product that's really handcrafted and unique every year. Each vintage brings different challenges. We never really know at the beginning of the year what, what the weather's going to be like. Uh, Oregon is quite variable. It's not like, uh, like growing in a very hot climate from some of the more southern areas of the country. So we have to be ready to adapt and, and really react all the way through to harvest to those conditions to really bring you the best wines we can grow. A lot of folks ask what it's like at harvest. Uh, first of all, I invite any of you, if you ever want to come help out at harvest, you're always welcome. It's really, uh, it's a fun time. It's a tremendous amount of hard work, uh, long days, but very rewarding. And harvest, because of the nature of Oregon, uh, we never know what to expect. We could be having beautiful fall days in October. It usually starts around October 1. Uh, but we get the fruit in, we process it all right here at the winery. Uh, and again, our style is to really follow a very traditional style of winemaking. Uh, small lot fermentations for Pinot Noir and Tempranillo. Uh, hand punch downs, again a very handcrafted style. And small production. All the aging of the red wines is in oak barrels, all French oak for the Pinot Noir. And for our white wines, such as Riesling, they're fermented in stainless steel with temperature control. Again, typically smaller lots. A, a, you know, a typical production for us for Riesling might be 100 or 200 cases. These are all small production wines that really represent uh, the vineyards that we come from and the winemaking style that we uh, strive for. A lot of friends ask, how do we get in the wine business? And it's, it's a long story. I'll give you the very short version right here. Uh, we ended up owning some land. One of the pieces of land had an old vineyard on it and uh, one thing led to another and we had a horse barn and uh, the horse barn became a winery. So it was a very exciting first year for us in 1999 having, having just relocated to Oregon to uh, see all that come together and culminate in our first harvest in October of that year. 